In this video, I will show you how to use the API of Leonardo.ai to generate images using a Python script. To use the Leonardo.ai API, you have to sign up with the platform. I paid $9 for 3,500 tokens. I will assume that you already have access to their API and continue with this demonstration. At this point, I need the code to call the API from their API reference documentation. I will copy a sample code from there and convert it to Python using ChatGPT. Okay. Let's ask ChatGPT to give us the Python script for the code I copied from the API reference documentation. The code you get from ChatGPT may not work as is, so you have to do a bit of trial and error before you get a working piece of code. But let ChatGPT handle all your problems. If you get any errors when running your code, cut and paste the errors back into ChatGPT to get the new code. Okay, I got a piece of code that initially did not work. I noticed that it works differently compared to generating images using OpenAI using their DALL-E modes. In Leonardo, you have to first generate the image, wait for it to return the generation ID, then use that generation ID to fetch the image URL. As it might take a few seconds to generate the image, you have to ensure your code keeps looking for the generation ID till it finds it and then get the URL. If you are in a hurry, the code might come back and say that it did not find the URL. Okay, I am now ready to run the script, but before that I want to get a prompt from ChatGPT to generate the image. So, let's go to ChatGPT and get a prompt. Okay, I copied the prompt in the code and now ready to run the script. As you can see, the script waits for 10 seconds and then attempts to find the generation ID. Once it finds the generation ID, it can then get the URL to download the image. Please note that it generates four images at a time, I think you can limit it to one, but since you are paying the same for four, why not get all the four?
Okay, we got the URLs and the script has downloaded the images in a separate folder. Let's have a look at them. As you can see, I am using a specific model. We can change the model depending on what kind of image we are trying to create. The documentation section for the API has all the details. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel.